so many great New York Comic Con exclusives to go over, but let's just show them all off in the video and let's get the party started, shall we? What's up, you guys? Welcome back. I am Skeff. Welcome to Skeff's Comic Knowledge. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. I greatly appreciate it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and just roll right into this New York Comic Con montage. It's a little bit longer. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And stay tuned afterwards where I do a recap of some of my favorite pickups and some of the coolest people I met while at the show. So, hopefully, you enjoy this video. New York Comic Con 2021. Let's do this, shall we?
Man, what a journey. New York Comic Con 2021, hands down, one of the coolest experiences I've ever had the pleasure of being part of. The people that I met at the show, the opportunities that came across, the experiences that I had, it was absolutely amazing. For Image Booth not being there, DC Booth, Marvel Booth, Funko Booth, Sideshow Booth, and maybe a couple others I'm not thinking of, it was hands down an absolute blast. You were able to walk around like pretty much the entire floor. It wasn't crazy. Get some cool exclusives, but enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and show off some of my favorite pickups from the show. And I uh, more things to go over. I had a whatnot sale live from the show on Saturday. Shout out to David and Drew for showing up on the live sale, signing and sketching a book, and then one of the people live bidding on the book from on the whatnot got that book. Legend. You guys are legends. I can't thank you enough for that. So many cool people. It was an amazing experience. But let's show off a couple books that I really, really enjoyed. Um, this is something that showed at number 15. Surprise, surprise. The Black Cape. I never picked this one up, but uh, Zoo had this at the Wicked Monkey booth. Now, I picked it up. I, she had two copies, and I'm like, oh, this is a cool book. Let me just grab both these. And I asked her what the price is. I'm like, oh, let's pick these up. And I, I go to the checkout because I hand her the books, and she'll ring me out. She's like, oh, you got lucky. I'm like, why did I, why did I get lucky? Um, and she's like, she did a remark on this one. It was like a little test remark. I had no idea. It blended in so well. Um, but yeah, so like, that is a wicked awesome thing. So happy to add this to the collection of my Sons of Children goodness. But that is super cool. And she she signed, um, she went ahead and signed it again too. So that's sweet. Got a little remark there. But yeah, this is an awesome book. I'm happy to have picked up from the show. Shout out to Trinity Comics for this epic. We Live number one reprint. If you don't know, I love We Love a lot. It's a great read. Please read it. It's five issues. It's really good. But this is a limited to, I think, a thousand copies for the foil number one reprint. Now, here is a book I can't believe I'm finally holding in my hand. No, it's not a journey in Mystery 83. That 2.0 I could not afford. It was $10,000. But it was really cool to hold, though. This is a book that has my name on it. And I cannot get over the fact that this book has. My name on it, um, it was surreal holding in my hand, but obviously it's a copy of Invincible, number one, the trade dress, the whatnot exclusive, where on the back it just thanks everyone for joining some of the best comic sellers out there, and it is surreal that I'm looking at this book right now, and it says Skeff's Comics at the bottom there, Let's see if I can get that to focus, but yeah, my name's on a book. That's so cool. Um, shout out to Whatnot and the crew there for definitely showing me a great time. That was amazing, and thank you, thank you so much for the opportunity. Absolute blast selling live from New York Comic Con, from the main booth, on the exhibit hall. It was wicked. I lost my voice for like two days after that. It was so much fun. What an experience. What an experience, and it'll be hard to top. But yeah, the Invinci I finally have an Invincible number one with my name on the book. Now I'm curious, I wonder if I can sign it when like I see 2 e 2 if like CGC's there, like sign it with my name and submit it for grading saying signed by Skeff. Uh that's cool. But yeah, I love this book. I love the cover. I love like it's it's perfect. Like I am so happy to have this now. But there are just some other things that were just fascinating to do. Like if you didn't know James the fourth, something on children, creator, uh he had with him at his signings like five copies of a specific book it was Department of Truth number one foil, limited to 75 copies. And he brought some of them some of them with him to the show. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to get one of these. And it was just an absolute cluster. Uh, shout out to Nomas Comics. Uh, we had an absolute blast trying to get those books. And they we, we couldn't get them. It was just a complete cluster, but it was an event nonetheless. I got to finally meet James again in person and it was super cool like he's a great guy and i look forward to seeing again hopefully at c2e2 but no mas we had an absolute blast didn't we jt i love you <laughs> so much fun though i was upset i couldn't get a copy of the foil once i did everything i could i'm like hey substack day one subscriber what can i do nothing all right wicked cool guy but that was that was a lot of fun trying to get that one 
Speaking of We Live, there was a lot of We Live at the show. Uh, kudos to the guys. Finally come up with some wicked awesome exclusive covers. But this is the Aftershock version. We Live number one. I do believe also limited to 1,000 copies. Very happy to pick up. And this is the talk of the show. If At the comic man booth, it was crazy to try to get any of the exclusives. Everything got limited to like one per person. So I was very happy to get a couple of them. Plus, I was able to get this wicked Department of Truth number 13 by Mr. Javon Jordan, limited to only 300 copies. This thing has picked up and exploded. I think they're going for like 125, 150 right now. So I'm like, I'm glad I got my one copy. Big shout out to Sanctum Sanctorum in Michigan. You guys rock. Killer booth, beautiful displays, very professional. Also, I spent about the most money at that booth the entire show. So that's probably why, but... <laughs> It was an absolute riot. They were phenomenal. They had a crazy special, guys. So you're like, Skeff, you don't need any more something to kill it and children number ones in your life. You're right. I don't until I saw this. This foil. Yeah, uh-huh. Foil. 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 So they had a special. It was buy two, get one free, show only. Um, yeah, so I bought, I bought three of these. <laughs> So I bought three foils, and then I went again and bought another foil, and then two more of the red splatter ones. So those red splatter and the one other foil got sent off. I actually had them, I bought them that day and had them signed by James later that day. So they were sent off for grading. Hopefully see those in like eight months. But yeah, opportunity to pick up some more number one foils. 100% happening. Shout out to you guys. Thank you. I was happy to finally have a couple of these now in the PC. And then Oasis Comics had an absolutely killer We Live J. Lee that I missed out on sold out day one. But thanks to Paul, shout out to you, Paul, you you awesome person, you you know who I'm talking about. He told me that they might have some cool copies, some other something that's killing children goodness, and by goodness they did. I picked up four copies uh, of Something Kill Children number one. And two of them were signed. And I was happy to add some more J. Lee number ones in my life. Never in my wildest dreams that I think I'd be going to New York Comic Con and buying more something Kill Joe number one. But for these prices, yeah, I I'm going to do it. Next up is a book that took me completely by surprise that I was happy I snagged. It's a really fun read. Uh, it's Good Boy, number one, the New York Comic Con exclusive. And this was a really fun read. If you've seen John Wick... Um, think the opposite. So instead of John going on the spree because of what happens to, you know, that, instead the, the dog goes on the spree after what happens to John. So it's a really fun, clever idea. And I really enjoyed the read. The artwork's great. And this really, and they were really clever with this one. So they had a special where you get this one, you get the ash can, and this one actually comes with like this big, giant, like, metal like continental card like it, it it was heavy sharp it was really cool to have that like a little tie-in little piece of like memorabilia attached to it uh speaking of we live i have one more thing we live we have the limited to a hundred copies we live number one the metal cover and this is insane this is so cool this is my very first metal cover hopefully not last but hopefully more to come but this was insane so Happy to grab this book. And of course, of course, the list wouldn't be complete without a copy of the coolest book ever. Canto, number one, the whatnot exclusive. Now, this had three different covers, the trade, the virgin, and the, the black and white sketch. And my favorite part about this, not only were David, Andrew, just legendary. You guys are, you guys rock. Uh, on the back of the book, inside joke here. Hashtag seven seasons and a movie, please. So go ahead, no pressure, guys. Just seven seasons and a movie. That'd be great. <laughs> but yeah, super stoked to grab a copy of the Cantos, number one trade dresses. And they were like, like, once again, just absolutely amazing to hop on my live stream, sign the book, and someone got themselves an awesome, awesome book. So those are just some of my favorite pickups uh, from the show. Met some absolutely amazing people. Guys, I 100% humbled by the entire experience. I can't thank you guys enough for everyone who stopped and said hi and asked for a photo. Uh, or people were like, where do I know you from somewhere? Because, like, mask up. And then, you know, then I just go like, 
I do this thing. <laughs> so that was amazing. And please, I always love when you stop and say hi. I always like when you get the messages. I like the comments down below. I love the communication. I love where we're at on the channel. Trying to grow it, trying to do bigger and better things to keep you guys engaged. Keep the feedback coming. I just want to try to get better. And I really can't thank you guys enough for uh, letting us go on the journey together. And I appreciate every single one of you for subscribing, Hulk smashing that like button, and then commenting down below. If you enjoyed this bit of a longer video, uh, I had a blast filming it. So let me know if you guys liked it. I'll do another one for hopefully C2E2 and maybe Emerald City Comic Con if that comes about. Uh, up Until then, guys, I'll see you in the next video. And that's it for this one. Skeff, out.